Hey guys, welcome to Riva Academy. This is Mayuri and in this Flutter tutorial series, we are going to look at using date, date formats and a date picker in Flutter. So let us quickly start by creating a new project and let us save this project. Okay, so this will create a new project in Flutter. This is the basic um, counter application that is being created and let us quickly run this project in emulator okay so this is the project created at the start okay so what I will do is remove all the comments and I will also remove these two paragraphs so we can start with a clean slate I'll remove this parameter and I'll create this class I'll create a stateful widget here okay now this class will return a scaffold we'll put an app bar over here and app bar will take a parameter title text and uh, we will say as state picker save and hot reload okay you can see the title is being changed now i want to display a date over here so what i will do is create a variable uh, i will display the current date so i will create a variable date time current date new date time dot now this will basically give us the current date and we will print out the date and to print this date on the screen we will require the body parameter in scaffold class so yes body and we'll put a text and we will say date as the current date right oh no we'll not require this parent uh, single quotes just put dollar and current date save and hot reload okay you can see the current date is being printed okay this is on the two top so i'll put this in the center save hot reload okay now i do not like the format of this date so i will like to change the format okay so to change the format uh, in the pubsec.yml file we will need to add the dependency that is intl package okay you just have to write this intl and save you will see this flutter package get command is being running okay this will add the dependency okay we have to wait for a few seconds uh, to add all the dependency yeah okay so this dependency is being added now what we will do back to our main class and here we will import this package we'll say import package intl intl dot okay this one okay so this package is being imported now now what we have to do is we have to create the date format okay so i'll declare a variable here string formatted date new date format i will not require parenthesis dot okay there are all these formats given over here you can play around with any of them I'll say this one Y triple M D. This triple M means it will uh, print the name of the month. Okay, so we'll pass on this current date. Okay, save and hot reload. Okay, it will not happen because we have to print this. Okay, so now it is working. And you can see the formatted date is being displayed June 7. 2019 now we will add the date picker over here 
so you can add it anywhere i will add it on the title bar you will simply put select date and you can add a action button to this app bar okay actions and i will add the icon button over here okay we'll I put this icon button class and on pressed right now i'll keep it this blank and put the icon for the icon button so we'll come to know we have to select the date okay so we'll put an icon icons icons dot uh, we'll uh, take the calendar icon okay save and hot reload you can see this calendar is being added over here okay if we press right now nothing will happen so for that we will uh, define the method over here say select date and we'll pass this build context okay so the select date method is not present right now so we will add the select date method in our class okay and pass the build context as parameter we will require this okay and uh, this select date method will return a future because uh, we have to wait for the select date dialog box to open right so it will be async await right we have to add async asynchronous so what we will do is declare a variable here final date time select date okay this select date will uh, await for the dialog to open and for us to select the date so that is why this await over here is given right and it will take the parameter it will take the build context as the parameter okay and it will also take the initial date so you can define any of the initial date uh, when the dialog box open right now i will put as the current date which we have already defined okay here it will be comma right okay there are other optional parameters as well like the first date this will indicate from where this date picker will start so you can put any like uh, let us put 1990 and the la last date also it has the end date okay sorry not end date last date okay so for end uh, last date also we can define say 2020 we'll put right here so this uh, date picker will have a range from 1990 to 2020 and the initial selected date will be the current date okay so when we open a date picker this is the common problem which is mostly encountered by the flutter developers so let us see what we can do about it this bottom overflowed error mostly in the small devices when the size of the phone uh, the screen is small and uh, for that purpose we'll define a builder method over here okay so it will take context in the child and we will put a scroll view been under beneath it right mostly this happens because the date picker size is bigger and the screen size is smaller so we'll put a scroll view single child scroll view save and hot reload okay we have to close this once and let me clear out the console okay yes so now you can see the day uh, the error is gone now uh, the selected date should be printed on the screen right so for that we have to set the current date to the selected date so let us do that if selected date is not equal to null okay and we have to use the set state method of flutter to change the value of the variables right so our current date will be set to the selected date okay save and hot reload now let us try this right now it is 7 current date and we'll say 14 okay so you can see that 14 june is being printed on the screen we can go to any of the month and check this thing and yes you can see that so yes this is pretty much it 
and uh, in this way you can uh, uh, implement this date picker and play around with the various date formats and use it in your projects as per your requirements okay i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and you like this tutorial please share with your friends and to see all the code you can uh, check out the repository given here thank you so much for watching bye bye